Hey Taurus, thank you for tuning in for this weekly message. Please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. For those who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. Um, so when it comes to your personal readings and live readings as shown here in YouTube, I do not use any cards or any tools. It's not needed um, for me. So, if you want to tune in for a Q&A, question and answer, I will be live Wednesday at uh, between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So, just make sure your notification bell is on. You can tune in and get a question answered for the donation price. And also, um, make sure your notification bell is on for games. Because not just on the Q&A days, I may do games um, randomly throughout the week. Okay, and if you want more of me due to daily messages, weekly messages, meditation sessions, and chakra readings, and crystal readings, things like that, I'm in Patreon. That information is listed in the description of this video along with so much more other information. So um, just tap on the description and yeah. Alright y'all, let's see what's going on for you Taurus. Taurus, 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 Barry. what is the message for Taurus at this time? Taurus, what do you want Taurus to know? What is Taurus' message? Okay, and what else? Okay, we're going to take it. All right, and what else for Taurus? Taurus. So you have crickets, silence, non-action. Okay, someone is tuned in. And someone could be tuned in to your profile in social media. We have tuned in, internet, connected. Because you went silent on them. Because why? They're toxic. They have unhealthy behaviors. Um, they're poison. It's the bad apple. So, yeah, let's see more. Um, you decided to become single uh, or they did, however, or you, yeah, because like I said, you went silent on this person. So let's see more. What's going on? Mm, I'm guided to get one of these. Okay. Spare, show us a message for Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What is the message for Taurus, Barry? All right, Mercury retrograde. There could be communication issues between, yeah, clearly because it's silence, non-action. Why? Because someone is a liar. Okay. They telling on somebody to risk. you like, but I already know. <laughs> I already know exactly who you're talking about. Who this person is. Yep. Show us a message for Taurus. You say, yep, they are a liar. Yep, they are toxic. And that's why I'm not talking to them. <laughs> Show us a message for... So that's why it's coming up. They're coming up so strong in your reading. Because you're not talking to them. They're like, well, I need... <laughs> I need Taurus to hear me out. <laughs> Show us a message for Taurus Spirit. Taurus. 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 Show us a message for Taurus. Mm-hmm. And what's coming up? What's in the near future for Taurus? Alright, well. It seemed like the silent treatment here. 
you're giving someone the silent treatment all right so with the harmony energy this is speaking of your recent past like you could have ghosted this person said enough is enough i'm not dealing with you um this could have for some, this is recent, recent. For some of you, this is just in your past energy, what you chose to do. You chose to ghost this. You chose to let go of this and just go quiet. You went within. You retreated from the situation. This caused a lot of grief, sadness, regret. I feel like, to be honest, Taurus, I feel like this is you. And the reason why I'm saying this is you is because you, you regret. It's like looking back on it. Whoever this is that you are dealing with, it's like, why did I put so much time and effort into that? Like, I know this person is poisonous or they showed me the signs and I gave in to it. So it's like you kind of like, you know, you regret the situation. It could be some sadness due to that or not so much um, for some. Yes, it's sadness. And that's just realistic. Um, you're human. It's like, dang, why did I give in to that? So it's like you beat it. And you beat yourself up for that situation, but I feel like you picked yourself up pretty well. Um, others may not recognize this. Others may not even look at you as, you know, you being sad or being regretful for the situation. They may look at you, you know, pretty tough. Like, you, you, oh, you, you got over it or it don't bother you. But deep down, it do, Taurus. It do. Um, your near future is the high priestess. So you following your intuition more of instead of, you know, going against your intuition. Because, like I said, this regret is like, dang, why didn't I follow my intuition? There were signs. I shouldn't have gave in. I shouldn't have dealt with this person. They showed me that they were a liar or something about them. It's like, you know how when you come out of a situation... And then you look back and you like, dang, you look back at the, the signs that were there that you overlooked because you had, you, you, you wanted it to be um, good. You wanted it to work out. You wanted, you wanted to give this person the benefit of the doubt, basically. Um, but looking back on it after coming out of it, it's like, man, all the signs was there. All the signs were there. So that's why it's bringing you to this Five of Cups. Um, the near future is bringing you into the High Priestess. You following your intuition, that inner guidance. You knowing when to move, when not to move, who to deal with, who not to deal with. So you, this, this, I feel like you're coming into, um, you're coming into the High Priestess more fully. Whereas the Five of Cups, this is you healing. So this healing, is you're still in the healing journey. And you're coming into the High Priestess. By the time you reach this near future, it's like you healed, you overcame that, and now you know. Mm -hmm. Show us more on the hermit. So this person is really wanting to communicate with you. They really want to talk to you, but... I feel like you you already made your decision. You finalized your decision. This person is a liar and there's nothing to talk about. Show us more on the hermit. The hermit. We have Virgo, Scorpio, and Pisces energy here. Show us more on the hermit spirit for Taurus. Taurus. Show us more on the hermit. For Taurus, justice. Yep, this is bringing you peace and balance. You going into hermit, retreating from this situation, not giving anything else of you, not getting, getting, uh, I feel like not, yeah, you're not getting overly emotional about this situation anymore. You just walked away. You just left it alone. Um, this is bringing you into the justice. You bring it's bringing you balance. It's restoring your peace. For some of you, you may have to go to court with this person. It could be a court case um, going on. Show us more on the Five of Cups. Five of Cups. The Taurus. Five of Cups. Five of Swords. I mean, Five of Wands. Wanted to come out. 
So yeah, it could have been some competition. You know, it could have been back and forth. Uh, mm, I'm seeing something. Hold on. Show us. Um, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. Yeah, this energy had you all over the place, uh, had you scattered, not knowing, you know, that's why I say you're in your healing phase right now, overcoming a situation. It could have been long, it could have been a long-term situation, it could have been a while since y'all broke up, or you, or for some of you, this may not even be a relationship as far as romantic. For some of you, this could be dealings with a family member. A friend or whatever, but for most, this is someone you are intimate with. This is someone you had a relationship with. This could have been someone you are married to. But I feel like this is this is teaching you a lesson. Um making you realize what to invest into now. Like I said, that's going into the near future, the high priestess. This had your emotions all over the place where it slapped you in the face. Like, what the heck? Why in the heck am I allowing this to have me like this? Yeah. Yeah. Had you all over the place emotionally. But like I said, now this is this grief, this grieving is helping you realize that some things are just or some people are not worth your time. Show us more on the high priestess and in our future. The high priestess, the lovers. Yeah, like I said, this is you, and as the high priestess in the near future, you um, coming into knowing who to choose in love, who not to choose in love, who to deal with, who not to deal with. Like, not passing up on the signs anymore. Like this person showed you they're crazy in the beginning, but you didn't, you didn't, you didn't want to believe it. <laughs> or this person showed you that they were a straight up liar, but you didn't want to believe it. Okay. You didn't want to, you didn't want to believe it or you didn't see it. You were blinded. You, you were blinded. You were not trying to see it because you wanted, you wanted to look at it differently. Or you did. You definitely did. But, you know, this was a learning experience. This person energy is coming up because they steady pulling out on you. They pet they they could be spying on you, looking at you. Social media. You like, oh, I blocked them so. Come on now, you know darn well blocking someone on social media is not gonna do anything. Cause you can make another account and that's more than likely what they did. Oh, my page is private. Oh. Is your page private? And if you're dealing with a liar, a, someone who, who will go over and beyond to have access to you, then they can disguise themselves. Have you add them as a friend? Now, if you like me and you like, no, nah, I don't care. I'm not... I don't care who is you, who sent you. Oh, you you such and such. Oh, I know that person. Let me reach out to them. Let me make sure this is them. So it could be that deep. Or for some of you, this person just however they can uh, spy on you. Because just like they're, you know, the message coming out in tarot in the cards, this person can definitely gain messages off of you. That's spying. They're spying on you. Asking questions about you. What you got going on in your world. They want to communicate. You like so? I feel you. So? Eh? 
communicate, you lost your opportunity. So what is what's the point of this reading series? Let's wrap this up. Show us more. It could be a Sagittarius. They're angry. They're becoming angry and very impatient with you. Okay, so they're trying to go somewhere with this. They're trying to tell us something. What else? Show us more on the uh, temperance in reverse. Show us more on the temperance in reverse. Yeah, they're angry because you blocked them. They're angry because you are not giving them what they want. So they could have uh, Sagittarius placements or they're just working in this energy of being imbalanced. High temper, angry because it's not going their way. Because when they say talk to them, they expect you to talk to them and you're not. They don't like that. They like to have that control. They feel very impatient with you. So this is giving me, like when I said um, a liar, they will go over and beyond to try to get, you know, well, however they want to communicate with you, they're going to try to do it. They, I mean, they're a liar, so they're going to, you know, they're going to uh, make a fake page or call you from another number or, <laughs> you know, <laughs> every way, every, every which way they can. Oh, Lord. Show us more on the temperance in reverse for Taurus. Oh, you did that. You put a, You put an end into that. The magician with the death. So this person could definitely be a manipulator. But you you close that cycle out by ending it with them. And they're big mad. They are big mad. I would say continue to move in silence. You know, don't let this person know what you got going on. Keep your distance from this person. Protect yourself, your energy from this person. Um, for some of you, it could be a Scorpio, a Gemini, or Virgo. Um, yeah, the main signs here is Scorpio, uh, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius. Uh, yeah, those are the main, main zodiac signs. Pisces as well. Um, but yeah, you guys, I, I would keep my distance from them. I feel like, I mean, you already, you already realize this or you're coming into realizing this. It's no compromising. It's no seeing eye to eye with this person. It's just not, it's just, it's, mm -mm. Again, they're poison. They are poison. <laughs> yeah, they trying to, they trying their best for you to like. They want to. They're trying. They could be trying to. Hey, I got something for you. Or, hey, can you reach out to such and such and tell them I said? Can you reach out to Taurus and tell them this or that? Like they could be having all type of people try to um, reach out to you for them. Mm -mm. reject their offer I feel like they only miss you because they don't have you this is the type of energy when they had you they didn't do you right and now that they don't have you they miss you yeah it's time to walk it's time to I mean you already did that it's time to keep your distance brother just protect your energy Cause you don't want to deal with no one who who's a liar. They're poisonous. They're not to be trusted. They they have uh, anger problems. They need anger management. This person needs to uh, get their life in order. Spirit, show us a message for Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, the chaser, mm-hmm, this is the chaser, 
You left this person alone. You left them out in the cold. You're not talking to them. No communication. They want to chase you now. They're very codependent. They fear abandonment. They feel like you're abandoning them. Mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. So, yeah, that's why I said you need to do your continue working on your healing. This person could drink a lot, too. Um, we have heart with the key. Welcome in love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. So, you could be coming into an another uh, love situation that would be more positive. We have transcendent obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So this could be another reason why this karmic, mm -hmm, karmic is trying to come back in because they sense you moving on or you have moved on and they don't like that. So they're trying to chase after you or uh, just keep up the communication with you some way, somehow, because they feel like as long as they have communication with you, then they have the, at least a, a foot in. But due to you cutting off all communication, this person is trying to figure it out. How the heck can I come back into Taurus life and ruin it? Because <laughs> that's all they're going to do. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to extend this in Patreon. If you want to be a part of Patreon, you could definitely um, become a member over there. Uh, that link is listed in the description of this video. And make sure you tune in tomorrow for Q&As uh, between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Just make sure your notification bell is on. And until next time, many blessings.